Good morning and welcome to our Mission Blogs, Optic Nova Rama and others. And then welcome new friends to our Mission Blogs. Um, I've been somewhat surprised by the reaction of some Christians towards this new epidemic. Um, so I thought, you know, in, in uh, the theme building up to Easter, it's quite relevant that we look today at uh, the last high priestly uh, uh, prayer, the last high priestly prayer of Jesus for his disciples or on behalf of his disciples, John 17. You can go and study the whole passage, but we're just going to take some extracts out of John 17. I don't have time to read through all of this, but here is a word of encouragement. We have got a royal blood covering in the covenant, the new blood covenant of Jesus. So let me explain. I'm going to coin this. We have the DNA of Jesus, the royal DNA. The D standing for divine, the N for noble, and the A for armor. Armor. Divine, noble armor. The Christian's DNA. We are under armor. We have a Jesus, royal, noble, blood DNA within us. That will protect us against this so-called uh, uh, virus that's going to wipe out so many people. And let me give you the peace. Oh, God has got this. God has got this. We've been in the past through some huge plagues like the Spanish flu that kills millions of people and the black flu that killed millions of people. And somehow the human race survived that through God's provision, helping man with his wisdom and knowledge to every time find an antidote. So peace to you, my brother and sister. I don't want you to be, I want you to panic. There is no need for panic in the Christian camp because we are under the blood covenant. We are under Jesus' DNA, divine, noble armor. Let me explain. We're in the new covenant of love, truth, and grace. Go and read it in Jeremiah 31, verses 33. And the new covenant is echoed in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 16. It just echoes Jeremiah 31, verse 33, the, the new covenant. I will write my law on their hearts and minds. I want them to be my people and I want to be their God. I'm paraphrasing and then I will remember their sins no more. And before I read out of John 17, let me remind you of the three big spiritual sword armors in the Bible that, first of all, 1 Peter 2.24, 1 Peter 2.24, we are healed by his stripes. We are, present tense, healed by his wounds, some translations, by his wounds. It's quite in the Easter theme here. The blood on the cross that was poured out for me and you is not only salvation, saving us a new life, a new eternal life. It is a blood, a precious blood from Jesus, a royal blood that was poured out for me and you against onslaughts of the enemy, against uh, viruses, illnesses and challenges and so forth. Here I am. I'm a witness and testimony to God's divine healing and armor. I've survived colon cancer stage 3 through the grace and love of God and the precious blood of Jesus. And the second verse, Hebrews 13 verses 8. Jesus the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. Again, Jesus the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. So his armor his covenant of protection stands and his word stands forever. We are under the
the blood armor protection of Jesus Christ because we're in the new covenant. So once you become a born again believer, you receive these benefits of divine protection. And then 1 John 4 verses 4, 1 John 4 verses 4, the, whole, the Holy One within you is greater than the one that's in the world. The Holy One or the Holy Spirit that is in you is greater than the one that's in the world. In other words, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. So we have the Holy Divine Blood of Jesus DNA in our blood that will protect us. And we've got the Holy Spirit alongside us, our personal doctor. And then God the Father is still in control, my friends. Don't panic. We're in the camp of Jesus Christ, the King, the King of Kings. We're in the camp of the Trinity. We are safe, we are protected, and we're secure by His blood. But let me read. So out of John 17, um, uh, Jesus is now praying for His disciples before He goes to the cross. Father, Holy Father, keep them safe by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one, just as, as you and I are one. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but I do ask you to keep them safe from the evil one. I repeat, I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but I do ask you to keep them safe from the evil one. Now, this virus is not going to scare us into hiding. It's not going to scare us. That is fear. And fear is opposite of God's love. We are in God's love, in, the, under, in and under the protection of the divine and noble armor of the blood of Jesus. So we carry on with our lives, obviously with some uh, logic precautions. But what stands out here for me, then it goes on to say, I pray that they may all be one, and it stresses one, so that they may be one, just as you and I are one. Now, here's the thing. The, our big testimony of love and encouragement we must share with the world. And the world is looking at our peace, this unity and agreement that in, we're in, in a new covenant and we're not scared and we're not fearful because we trust the blood of Jesus. So if the world can see the unity of the spirit of Christ, the body of Christ, they can see there is something different about these people. They must surely belong to God. They must be surely Christians, born again Christians in the camp of Jesus Christ. Because they don't fear, they don't talk negative, they talk positive, and they look at peace. We must not panic, we must be at peace. We must not panic, we must be at peace. This is a wonderful time to witness about the good news gospel of Jesus Christ. That the harvest is ready, my friends. The harvest is so ready. People are confused. They, they live in fear. Uh, they don't believe. And this is a time where we take the light of the world, the good news, to the world. In testimony. If someone talks to you, say, no, um, I'm at peace with my salvation. I know that I am saved. I know that I'm protected by Jesus' DNA, the divine noble armor. And I, my salvation is quite frankly secure. That's why I have peace. That's why I have joy. No one is going to steal this crown of glory and joy from you. It's interesting that uh, Brother Ian Osher did some research on Corona and the meaning or close meaning out of the Old Testament. And it basically means a virus of crown or crown virus. And I want to end with that. Let no one steal your crown of peace and salvation. You are safe and secure under the blood of Jesus. And if you do not know Jesus, if you're not under the blood covenant, I challenge you to give your heart to Jesus. 
after this clip. Goodbye.